fight game, you've got to always expect the unexpected and some people are aggressive, some people are stupid in, in, in the words that they like to throw about and it isn't necessarily for me any, 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 anything intelligent which he's saying or bringing across. There's nothing different to what I've met or seen or come across. Um, and at the same time, when it comes to when it comes to the fight and the cage door shuts, it's me and you in there and your words don't hold any weight or value. So you've got to remember that. Um, it actually just feeds me and it fuels me to be able to train harder and to be able to get in there and get the job done on the night. So again, it's just, it's his motivation. You keep firing that and I'll keep, I'll gladly, gladly keep feeding off it. Like you say, yeah, this is all part of the cycle. We do contrast, we do 10 minute in. We come out and wrap ourselves up, keep that sweat flowing, but give our, our bodies and our minds a break away from the strenuous heat. Um, but again, easy cut, three pound a go. I reckon after this, possibly one more little salt bath and we're good, we're good. When we can recarb and rehydrate after the weigh-ins, it's like every Christmas and every birthday in one. Um, you feel on top of the world, you're ready for anything. So compared to the condition that we feel in fight week, getting ready for that fight prep, cutting down to make the schedule weight, championship weight, 170 on the money every time. Like I say, as soon as you get them carbs and you replenish your rehydration, you feel like a brand new man. Um, and that's exciting. I say this is the fight before the fight, this is the hard bit once this is done. We're all good to go. The fight is the easy bit. We fight every day. Um, as fighters, we have to fight through a lot of a lot of mental breakdowns and and back and forth with ourselves and get ourselves up and fired up and motivated when our bodies are broken to go into the gym and to fight through our training sessions, to spar hard against each other, to to do over 25 hours a week training. The weight cuts are few and far. The um, the hot baths are few and far. So again, this is. This is the competition. This is this is something that is a hard part for us, and the fighting's easy. The fighting's fighting's something that we love and we relish. So again, come Saturday night, this this is going to be the hard work right now. Saturday night's the easy part. Do you know what? I'm in the 170 division. Anyone that's in the 170 division is food to me. Um, the competition's with myself and only I. When I look in the mirror, I am my own competition. I am my own mate of motivation, and I am my I inspire myself. I don't give a fuck about anyone else. 170 division, like I say, there's, there's no disrespect to anyone. Um, I'm a good sportsman, I, I show respect to everyone, but at the same time, there's a competition between myself and myself only. Just getting a little bit of ice to keep myself sane during the wake up. And I'll melt a few of these. Just in my mouth as we're doing the last few pounds, it just helps keep you sane, that's all. Which one are we going to, bro? For this? I thought we were brave, bro. Last couple of pounds shouldn't take long, though, should it? No. 30, 20 minutes, 30 tops. Yeah, I've, I've altered and I've changed a little bit and I've adjusted as the time's gone on through different fight camps, but through numerous fight camps. But at the same time, I, I tend to keep the system the same. And like I say, it's all about staying mentally strong, physically strong throughout. It's, it is a job within itself and a task within itself just to cut weight alone. Um, but yeah, I like to generally chip away at the weight during a week with little workouts, keep the sweat generating, um, rehydrate, water load throughout the week, keep my carbs down low, sodium's pretty much not there at all, um, take that out of my system. So it helps the sweat and obviously the, the cycle of the water just running through the system. Um, and then we get to Friday morning, which is today, here we are, it's 10 a.m. We're getting ready to cut the last few pounds. Um, we'll get rid of this and then we'll be ready to weigh in as soon as we're done. After this, should take about 30 minutes of hot bath with some salt. Um, the scientific process is called osmosis. Um, it's basically the salt concentrate in the water is going to be higher than the salt concentrate in my body. So we'll just withdraw a lot of the water and uh, bring my weight down really quick. So yeah, in, in about 30 minutes, we'll be on weight and we'll be ready to weigh in for 1 p.m. Cool, cool, hot rod. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Pop it, man. Pop it. As of last week, I was at 4% body fat, so I imagine I'm sitting around 3.2 now, most of the time, by time, weigh-in day. Yeah, it's real low, so I'm, at, I'm at, on the limit, on the verge. It's the most I can do, but again, science and it's professional shit.
Well, I'm waiting now, we're on the money. Um, vital for me. I've, I've, I've had the likes of uh, Sean Soriano, Greg Jones around me all week. That um, team spirit, we're like family, man. Shit like this, it brings us together. Um, without them, it could be possible. I, I, need, I need that good uh, reconstructive energy um, to reinforce this whole, this whole battle that we have to get through the fight weekend. And as I said before, it's, this is the hard part. Fighting's easy, so we've done the hard part, and I've got that. I've got that family around me to help push me, and they've done it now. So yeah, it's time to enjoy what's the times ahead.